I can't actually remember how to make porridge. <laughs> Is it just like oats and milk? I mean, they're ugly. <laughs> so today we slash I um, are going on an adventure. porridge today for like the first time in I, I can't actually remember how to make porridge <coughs> is it just like oats and milk and water probably you don't add water right well I just added water oh my god I nearly added smoked paprika instead of cinnamon You know, I bought two bowls the other day from um, Dunelm. Now there's only one because last night I rested one of them on the sink like this and it went bang, smash. So that's annoying. I'll take my whiskey need. I'll call you back as my bird of dream. You're too sweet for me. Oh my God. I definitely overcooked it. Oh. this new honey is it gonna burn my mouth off I've waited about five minutes I don't like that honey it tastes really synthetic and I just thought it would taste nice because it's got honey in it like um, it's got cinnamon in it like oh nice I've only just got into honey from maple syrup. <laughs> I think it's alright stirred into things, but as like a topper, it's a bit... <clears throat> Don't play with your food, okay. If you have plants at home and you work from home, how are you ever meant to concentrate? I shouldn't do this with one hand. She needs a water. Very floppy. New little leaf. Baby leaf there, look at it. <laughs> there's quite a few, there's quite a lot of new growth on this, which is lovely to see.
today's the day because um, my mum and dad are going away tomorrow, so I'm house sitting for them. So I haven't got any food in. I think I said that yesterday. I feel like a broken record sometimes. Um, so I feel like I'm just going to make something with what I have in the cupboard. I'll wait till the kettle finishes boiling. Let's wash up. So I'm gonna make a, for this pasta stuff, I have just opened it, so it wasn't open in the cupboard um, for ages. I was gonna put it in like some kind of minestrone ages ago, but I just never did it. So I'm gonna make some of this. I've got no idea how much to actually make because I don't think it's gonna grow that much. So I'm gonna just, that's probably way too much, but I'll, I'll take it with me if it's too much. And then I think I'm gonna kind of chickpeas that expired in 2013. No, 2023. <laughs> They're only a year out of date. That should be fine, right? It's a can. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit of Malden sea salt. Set a timer for 12 minutes. to 12 minutes so we shall see I found a cucumber which seems to be okay I don't think I'm meant to boil it furiously. Oh no, it's only on two. That's good. A cold salad. I found a, stop, I found a questionable hummus. Deal. It's not fizzy yet, so. This is weird. It looks not great. I know I'm going double chickpea. Tasty, need some salt and pepper. Maybe some smoked paprika. empty. Italian seasoning maybe? A bit of nutritional yeast. Sorry my um, camera just died. It's, it's so good. So like any orzo pasta, rice pasta, I mean, you don't even, 
you could use you could use couscous you could use rice um could be like i'm the expert of this salad now literally boshed it up two minutes ago wait for it to wait wait for it to cook put some cold water on it to cool it down added in half um a couple of tea tablespoons of hummus questionable hummus then half no actually i added in a whole can of chickpeas because i've got probably two more servings there as well um for later which would be very nice then yeah um chopped up cucumber obviously this is like bare bones like you could add anything to this then um salt pepper italian seasoning <laughs> and a bit of nutritional yeast if you to give it like a bit of a cheesy flavor um really good plant-based <clears throat> good mm. i really like because it's got lots of textures so it's got like the graininess of the chickpea the smoothness of the orzo and then like the crunch of the the fresh cold crunch of the whatever this is <laughs> cucumber thank you mm. so i met my mum and dad's and i don't know why i've decided to stay up until midnight and i've got to be up in two hours <laughs> to take them to the airport which is really blowing stupid. I've been falling asleep in this chair for so long because I'm cold and I don't want to go upstairs to bed because I'm cold and it's freaking July and I'm cold. <sighs> but I need to go to bed because I need to get up. So let's go to bed. <laughs> Why? Not obvious. Nice. Speed trap reported ahead. This is all Saturn's fault. <laughs> I just thought, you know what, instead of going back to bed, I'm just going to edit for a bit. I'm just going to sit here and just edit. So yeah, the video is meant to be going up today and I have not done it. Well, I've done about half, I think. Just need to get the rest done. So I'm like, I'm just going to sit here and do it. At what, 5? 5am. I felt myself nodding off, so I thought, I'll just have a little sleep. It's, <laughs> it's now nearly midday and I've just woken up <laughs> I mean it does make sense if you work out because that's what five that's <laughs> oh my god no I probably fell asleep about six realistically so I basically slept here for six hours I mean to be fair when this sofa is in recline mode it's basically like a bed you can have your feet up as well. I'm like, what year is it? I'm gonna get my mug and have a cotton, have an actual coffee now. <laughs> you know, when you fell asleep in your bra and you feel like, <clears throat> I feel like, Ugh. how is it still raining? I think that could just be the general statement for July and June This po at this point. Mm. We got um, dominoes last night. 
I've had to come up to the office because I was literally <laughs> falling asleep again. Um, Mum's got me... <clears throat> oh, they're amazing. Mum picked me some sweet peas from the garden. Oh, wow. Hmm. Um, you know, I showed you my lava lamp the other day and I said that I got into them when I was 16, like a rebel. Um, this is my this is my original lava lamp here. 22 years ago. And it's the same freaking bulb. They don't make them like they used to. Why is this broken? It's not broken, I just couldn't see the mouse. <laughs> my outlook isn't opening, which isn't the best. Right? isn't my outlook working I should change it to opening okay let's try and restart This Rimmel top coat is so good. It's like a gel, but you don't need a lamp. It's really good. And I've just run out of the one I used before. It was all string. You know when you know when that it, you know when now one is just go stringy. I think I probably could have used. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Let's try and open out the. Oh, it works. Why does turning things on and off always, pretty much, always work? So today we slash I um, are going on an adventure. I'm going to view a flat. Um, it's lovely by the looks of things. And yeah. It's not in London, so we're currently headed there now. Oh, we just They're having uh, an argument. Uh, <laughs> he, just, he just put to his be finger fair, up at him. He shouldn't have done that. Uh, he shouldn't have pulled in there. No, he shouldn't. I would go this, go in this lane. Well, I'm just being a bit wary. Because then you can pull in. Because yeah, it's the third lane. It, trust me. Oh, look at all this free road. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I'm excited. I'm, I'm very much a, I'm not going to tell anyone anything so that it doesn't get put into fruition so that I don't jinx it, but I don't know. I have family, familiar um, links to this area, which is exciting. And I didn't know this and I visited this area. Um, <laughs> I visited this area a few months ago by accident. And like a really like emotional feeling came over me when I drove in. It was really weird. And then my dad told me that my un my my granddad lived there. So yeah, fingers crossed. We'll see. Yeah, fingers crossed. We shall see. So I've just seen it. It's so beautiful. It's got a huge balcony, and it just felt really lovely inside. So I've actually just put an offer in. Yeah, I've put an offer in. So cross your fingers for me. Good morning. Morning. Hmm. Um, I, sl I slept well, which is no surprise, but my head is... Can you believe I made an offer on a flat? A real life, a real life flat, a real life offer, a real life. I'm so excited. I'm really, really, really excited. Um, I'm trying to do the thing of like law of attraction, but also K sera sera. <laughs> so like, not trying to get my hopes up too much, but also it's already mine. So I just really hate how 
single, as in living alone, whatever, single people, it, it's just so difficult to do it on your own. Um, and I know some people may comment, I've had, I get comments all the time, why don't you move back in you with your parents? And yes, I can stay where I am, but I'm getting myself in um, loops. I'm making the best decisions for me right now. And I'm just saying that to everybody watching this and to myself. But I know that. I know that. But I'm just saying that because I know I'm going to get comments. Why don't you do this or why don't you do that? I'm trying to work out if it's a benefit for me being a sole occupant versus a relationship. Because obviously I have less income than two people. But I'm probably more sturdy in terms of, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And it's all down to, it's all down to the landlord, isn't it? Like what they're looking for, what they want, what they want long term. And oh, it's just so many un, uncontrollables. And I keep refreshing my emails. And it's only half nine, so. Calm down, Lauren, okay. This definitely feels like the next step for me in my life. Oh my God, it's just, it's just so lovely. It's just so nice. And after having looked at so many flats and so many options for a while now, this is just, it's just amazing. I've managed to save a lot of money living where I live. Um, and yeah, the best decision financially for me would be to stay where I am, even though they're doubling my rent. Have I told you that? They're doubling, they want to double my rent. I just can't consider paying basically double for what I have. Hence this. Anyway, I need to get up with my work, I need to get up to date. I need to push through, push on. Lovely, lovely, what should we listen to? I think some Chapel Roan. Morning. Uh, I viewed that property on Wednesday. It's now Friday morning and I haven't heard yet, which is so annoying. I get it. They've got to like send all the office and office and stuff to the landlords yesterday. But I'm just like chomping at the bit. Everything's crossed. In terms of, you know, finding and understanding other places besides you where he can find support and understanding of why things are coming up for him in the way that they're coming up for him, right? Like, sounds like he could benefit from a therapist. Sounds like he could benefit from more friends that he could be more honest with. And, and you know, I totally understand and agree with the idea that you can't be his one person support system, especially if the way that you're providing support is by completely, like, just becoming like a piece of glass that he gets to see whatever he wants into it, right? And you just have to sit behind it and be like okay are you feeling better right like is everything okay right like oh i made that mistake how do i fix this right like that's not a that's not a, a, a productive place to be oh you can't see me it's too dark um but we lost the football obviously you know that <laughs> Boo. <laughs> yeah we lost against spain one no two one at the end wasn't two it one, yeah. two one um yeah. Boo. <laughs> it's not coming home. <laughs> it is absolutely not coming home. <laughs> Did your parents used to tell you that this would like this was illegal? Yeah, if someone's driving you shouldn't have the light on. <laughs> it's not true that you can have it on. It isn't illegal, is it? No. <laughs> so, hi. I have just come home to search for my freaking memory card because I'm editing a video and I've got a whole few days from last week where it's missing and the more annoying thing is that I was editing the video and in the video I can see the memory card on the table it was there I've looked at this point I feel like I've thrown it in the bin by accident because I cannot find it and it's really annoying me 
and it was over those few days with the wedding with uh pride where my life was a bit of a mess physically in the flats i like tidied everything up left to come house sit for my parents and i don't know where it is i've looked everywhere i've oh, i've looked in this bag like five blooming thousand times and it doesn't change let me just check in the zip as well <sighs> no <sighs> but on the up shop is that i found planner i'm gonna plan some days out this week um because i've been feeling really bad and really overwhelmed she looks so perfect standing there in her American apparel underwear. I've even looked in the three bags I was gonna take to the wedding. Oh no, the bag I, and the bag I actually took to the wedding. But where would it be? Ugh. It was literally right here. I've looked, this, this was all clear just now. I've completely messed this up. Even like looking under the frickin'. <sighs> I've looked in both these drawers. I've even looked like in my sea glass tub. So perfect standing there. And I know now. I think I'm gonna have to just take it as a loss. But it feels annoying. It feels very, very annoying. It's possible. The first thing I thought this morning was, where the hell is that SIM card? Why do I keep calling it a SIM card? It's 2024. I've been up for an hour and a half. I don't look like it, do I? <laughs> where could it be? All I was thinking was yesterday, all I was thinking yesterday was, as soon as I'm an inventor, I would love to invent something where you could just find things like think about it and it just appears like where it is in your mind but then it could be used for evil couldn't it like you know and then i was thinking okay well it must have had to be something that was yours but what can be defined as ours something i mean it's too early for this she's um something we bought with our own money but what if we bought it for a gift and then you bought it for somebody and then you broke up with them and you were like, I want it back, but it wasn't actually yours. So many issues with this thing. And really, I just want to find my SD card. Okay. That is formatted. I need to format myself and get some food. So where should I put this that it's going to be safe? Let's go see the cats, cats, cats. Hello. Good morning. He's drinking his water. I need to bring in the bins. Okay, bye. It was just me. I want to actually cook this week and cook something I haven't cooked before. So let me stop when I feel it's right. 
there. Broccoli and tuna salad. I always find it absolutely fascinating to see somebody's handwriting. So I'm gonna write a list <laughs> of stuff I need to get on an online shop. So first of all, we have milk and we also need coffee. Um, bread, bananas, basically everything. Oh, biscuits. <laughs> Colour cut? No, I've got, got, I've got washing stuff. Hmm. I've just done my order and it's gonna, I managed to get a slot today. For today? Is it being delivered to? <laughs> literally just did it. When's it coming? 16th of, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, between six and seven tonight. Perfect. I got a few different recipes. I got the ingredients to make a red Thai curry soup because I've wanted to do it for so long and I haven't. Uh, no, nah, we've got, I was just like, I didn't get ginger, but we've got ginger downstairs. Um, and I've got some gyoza in the freezer down here that I bought the last time I stayed and I didn't use. And mum reminded me that they're there. So I was gonna do like a dumpling soup thing. Um, cause obviously it's like July, but it's winter basically. And I got some ingredients for some pasta dishes from that cookbook. Oh, I completely forgot about the tuna one. I'll do that another time. You can tell I like this color. I mean, this book is obviously, <laughs> oh, and also this book, M Molly. It's, uh, this one I got on, um, my wish list. So Molly, thank you very much. I'm finally getting around to using this bad boy. But yeah, lots of lots of the same colour. That's very pleasing to me. <laughs> what colour shall I go? I do actually have that colour downstairs, but I can't be bothered to go down there. And I haven't even heard about that flat yet. It's been, tomorrow will be a week since I saw it. I'm going for this. ugly <laughs> but it's an okay first try <clears throat> why are all my batteries low battery you're not gonna know that that's my problem <laughs> hi how are you very well thank you thanks a, thanks a lot would you like it right here yeah here's great thank you very much um there was no substitution on this item perfect any bags recycled? Uh, not sure. Next time. Next time. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes. Should we do a... Should we do a Holio Iglesias? Oh, that was good value for that size. Big Kenko Mirkano, $5.99 for that size coffee. Very good. Coconut milk, yum. Fox's Crunch. Mm. 
walnuts, rice noodles, bananas, mm. non-waxed, unwaxed limes. They smell very limey, lovely. Mango chutney, red Thai chili paste, red Thai curry paste, a couple of rices, Marmite rice cakes, bread, more bread for the freezer, dark chocolate rice cakes, edamame, what have I even ordered? Spring onions, rosemary, eggs, chicken thighs. No, I never buy raw meat, but I've got the oven, so I thought, why not? Feta, carrots, milk, thyme, wild rocket, coriander, cottage cheese, oyster mushrooms. These were like one pound 20 on offer. Asparagus, bacon, and fresh lasagna sheets. Boom. I'm going to use this as a water bottle because I haven't, I'm absolutely dehydrate, dehydrated. Are you dehydrated? We need some hydration. exhausted <laughs> my video went out last night and I've got so many gorgeous comments it's funny for me weeks always seem so long because I'm always working I'm always waiting for that Tuesday to come round and I love it but it always feels so much time has gone past since the last Tuesday which I suppose is a good thing I definitely need to get myself more organised this week because the last two weeks I've been late with the video and I don't really care so much about being late. It's just the rush I feel on the Tuesday night when I'm like panicking because I'm going to lose my job. No, I'm joking. That's a meme if you don't know that video. Anyway, um, it. I just don't want to be stressed every single week. I want to just work a bit harder this week and get ahead of myself because I've got loads of footage filmed. Today I want to film... Um, a bit in the garden, a bit of me watering the plants. So we're gonna have like a calming ASMR minute. Did I give you an update yesterday? I don't know if I did. So the flat I've viewed last week was when Wednesday, it was a week ago today and haven't heard. I actually, so I viewed it Wednesday, put an offer in Wednesday. Thursday, I wrote a letter to the landlord saying, Hi, please pick me. I really like your flat. My name's Lauren. Blah, blah, blah. A little bit about me. Thinking it can't help, it can't hurt because I know I'm at a disadvantage of renting a flat because I'm a single person. Therefore, only one income. And a lot of these things don't, don't go off of who you are. It's what you can bring, right? So I thought I'm just going to write them a letter to make them see that that flat I deserve it <laughs> I deserve it I wrote that I live in uh Hull I wrote that I live in Halsden I was like please I just need to live a quieter safer life in the in Hertfordshire ah. basically I wrote ah <laughs> it got to yesterday and I'm like right I'm done I'm done with playing playing like sweet playing sweet with this now I need to call and be like have I got it or not? Like, I haven't heard. Have you got my email address wrong? Because I think he did the first time. Anyway, so I emailed them the other day to check that they had the, my email. And he said yes. And then I called yesterday to um, be like, hey, I viewed the flat in da da da. Is there an update? And he was like, oh, well. <laughs> I was like, 
He said, well, I can be completely honest with you. They live abroad and their their number keeps ringing out and they're abroad and we haven't heard anything. And I thought that was pretty crap on the owner's behalf to like let a lot of people see the flat and then not follow up with any of them. Like these are people's lives that they're kind of not messing with. I don't want to make it. It is, it is. It is a bit disrespectful, especially in this market where nice flats, well, especially in this area, are so hard to come by. I felt a little bit like, "Mm." but I spoke to Emma about it and she said that I'm in a good position because I'm not like really desperate to move. I'd like to move, but I don't have like an end date where I need to be out. So a few people might have that. So they might have to say, okay, I'm just going to move on from this one. Whereas I'm like... So, yeah, that's the update on that. Still waiting. Still hoping. Still crossing. I don't know how I feel about these. They feel very Scooby-Doo. And I think I... I, The colour isn't the colour I thought it would be when I ordered it. I ordered it online. I thought it would be way more neon like that. Less swampy. By the way, it's called Revlon. Revlon Ultra HD Snap in the colour bright side. I think I liked the colour more without all the crap on it. I need to put another coat of seal on it because I didn't do that yesterday. Seal. Top coat. I've got a new dress. Ha oh, ha. Vinted. Four pounds. I got this because I haven't got any like V V neck dresses. Everything I've got is like high neck. I think this is gonna be way too V E. Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's get some light into the place. I mean, they're out on display, shall we say. But I really like the buttons. I like it. (laughs) Giving the neighbours a show this morning. Oh my God, there was literally just a fox in the garden. I know, Gussie. I saw it. Are you being good guard cat? Are you? Come on over there. Gorgeous day. I just walked through a spider's web. Cobweb. This is me not posing. This is just my body. I've started seeing people on Instagram doing that, like showing all angles of their body, like all four ways. Just normal because it's mad what the camera does. Coffee time. Hi. (laughs) He's like, I don't drink out of water out of a bowl. I only drink out of a watering can. We've got a second round of wisteria here. And my parents have got a magnolia grandiflora. This is it here. And the the flowers are huge, look. This one's on its way out. But it's got a couple more buds there on its way. What are you doing? Calm down, dear. I just got a voicemail on my phone from the estate agent and I didn't get the flat. Which is annoying, because it was really beautiful. 
yeah, I think it was just a little bit out of my range, price range. Um, and it would have been a push. And as much as you can see how you would do it, I completely understand why people would want somebody who would, it wouldn't be so much of a push on one person's salary. Yeah, look, it was like gorgeous and light. That was the, out to the balcony at the back. That's the balcony. It was it was really beautiful. But <clears throat> what is meant for you won't pass you by. So yeah, this is just a mere stepping stone in the thing we call life, right? It's time. Well, it's been a day, so. Um, Fox's Crunch Cream Ginger. I'm gonna need to just put two out and then put the rest away because, well. Do I dunk? Do I not dunk? Are you a dunker? I've put too much coffee in, I've got like residue. Isn't residue a horrible word? Mmm. The other day at the Pride picnic, um, one of the guys there was like, oh, I hate the word moist. And I don't have a problem with the word moist. I don't think I like the word residue. Moist. <laughs> Sorry. I know I'm gonna have triggered a few of you. <laughs> I finished my work for the day. Should we tidy up the desk? Because normally I don't do this. I'm just gonna close everything down I've somehow managed to accumulate three coffee cups here okay I really wanted to record you some like relaxing watering of the plants but someone's drilling how thoughtless of them <laughs> so now we're just going to relax the shoulders take a breath in and out relax your forehead bring your tongue down from the roof of your mouth and relax your jaw. Did you see last week that my mum showed the tomato seeds she, she saves? Well, those tomato seeds make tomato plants. And you can actually see down there, there's a little red one. So I'm just gonna I'd love it if you could just focus on your breath at this time. You don't have to focus on doing the deepest breaths. Just focus on how it feels. Can you feel your chest rising? Can you feel your belly inflating? And maybe you can do a little quick scan of the body and see if there are any places where you feel anxious. Are there any parts that you can send this breath to? It might help to place your hands over your heart, over your chest, and just remind yourself that you're here, you're alive and you're safe. Bring the mind back to the breath and these lovely water droplets. So with that, we've come to the end of the video. I want to say a huge thank you for getting to this part. I know I was being lazy here with just shooting the water at it, but hey. Um, I found this watering of the garden so relaxing. And as I was doing it, I was picturing the fact that I could do a voiceover and it would just be, it would just be excellent. So I really hope you enjoyed these 
few moments of serenity this evening. And as I always have started saying now, you can always come back to the breath. It's always here for you. Um, no matter how anxious, no matter how scared, no matter how lonely or whatever the emotion is you're feeling, the breath is always here. And so are my videos. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've had a lovely time watching this. If you'd like to support me, please leave a comment below. Love it if you could give me a cuts. thumbs up, subscribe. The coffee link is below if you'd like to support me there. And yeah, I will see you next week. I love you lots. Thank you. Bye. Nice. Bye. 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 Bye.